Hello, and welcome to Novobi's Odoo Accounting demo series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a customer credit note, refund a note, and how to use the credit note report. I'll also highlight some improvements Novobi made to Odoo's credit note features. There are two common cases where we need to use credit notes. The first is when we offer a customer a discount for an item after an invoice has been issued to make up for delivery or quality issues, or in the case of returns for store credit. Let's say we need to offer a discount for the cutting machine that we sold to Gap in a previous video. I'll head over to the accounting app, open the invoice I created before, and click Add Credit Note. Here I'll choose my refund method, write a reason, and click Add Credit Note. By default, Odoo will add the products from the invoice and credit the full open amount of the invoice. If I want to see the source document for the credit note, I can go to the Other Info tab. Once I'm done, I click Save. If I don't want to link the credit note to the invoice, I can create a new credit note from the Customer Credit Notes screen. To get there from the dashboard, I click the three dots on the top right of the Customer Invoices section and choose Customer Credit Notes. I can also get there from the Sales menu. Click Create. Since it's not linked to an invoice, I'll have to fill in the information and line items manually. The second common situation for credit notes is when we want to offer a general discount to a customer without linking it to a product or invoice. So I'll go back to the credit note I just created, click Edit, remove the cutting machine product, and add the general discount product. Now I can input any unit price that I want for the general discount. In this case, I'll choose $2,000 and click Save. So that's how you create a customer credit note in Odoo. Note that there are some important differences between what Odoo offers out of the box and the features available with the Novo BUS accounting app. We added the AR and charge field to help with reporting and work distribution. We removed redundant fields such as due date and payment terms, and renamed invoice date to credit note date to make the screen more intuitive and user friendly. Once I've input all the information for this credit note, I can validate the credit note, which moves it from the draft status to open. After validating, I can see a list of all open invoices for this customer, and I can apply the credit note to any of them. We'll demonstrate using that feature in another video. After we create the credit note for Gap, I want to refund the amount of the credit note, so I click Make a Refund. Choose the payment method and bank account, and click Validate. From here, I'll want to print the check and send to the customer. So I'll go to Sales, Customer Payments, select the check we created, click Print Checks, input the check number, click Print. If you want to see a list of all credit notes, go back to Sales, Customer Credit Notes. If I'm searching more narrowly, for example, if I want to see all open credit notes for Gap, I can group by company and status, and quickly get to the information I need. This concludes today's topic. Thank you for watching.